I'm still feeling very poorly. Not sick. Um, I just. It's Christmas. To be honest I was not going to film today um, Tiffany asked me to but I was feeling very poorly so I didn't want to pick up the camera um, I'm still feeling very poorly not sick um, I just am feeling like down in the dumps about things in life in general like myself the color of this kitchen <laughs> I desperately want to repaint this kitchen, but you know, it's the holiday season. So I've, uh, we've got a lot of other things on our to-do list. So I'm trying to wait until the holiday is over. And let me tell you how difficult that is. We've got, I don't know, three weeks, two and a half weeks. And I'm just like every day I'm like, can I paint the kitchen yet? Can I paint the kitchen yet? Can I paint the kitchen yet? So that's what's been on my mind. I want to redo the kitchen. I want to get rid of a lot of things. Uh, last year I said I was going to start decluttering the home and I really didn't do that. I'm finding it's very difficult for me to to do that because so like I think this was before Harrison was born. We did like the whole Marie Kondo method where Tiffany and I, we went through things and we're like, does this bring us joy? Yes, we'll keep it. Does this bring us joy? No, we'll get rid of it. Mostly it was with our clothes, um, which we have then like stockpiled again. But, um, you know, we did it with some other things too. But I'm finding that I can't do that now because like these items aren't my items to do if it's something that's mine sure i can throw it away but a lot of the items in this home are ours mine and tiffany's you know and the boys too so i can't just like say hey you know <laughs> this mug over here doesn't bring me joy I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna donate it or whatever because it's not just my mug anymore. It's it's our mug, and if Tiffany likes it, I can't, it's not fair for me to throw it away or donate it or or whatever you know whatever we decide to do with it. And that's the same thing kind of with like the kids' toys. Like yes, I can put them away and rotate them and things like that, but I'm having a hard time like. donating things like Archer's old toys that he won't use again. Tiffany and I are, are mostly on the fence about not having any more children. So why do I need to keep those old toys? I don't know. I just, it's, it's hard. It's hard for my brain, but to take the focus off of that, I'm focusing on wanting to paint the kitchen but I can't paint the kitchen for another two and a half weeks because I have holiday obligations like wrapping gifts and things like that um so <laughs> welcome to uh, the insight of my brain but I do I will share with you what my idea is for the kitchen because why not why not share it now, I don't know if these are the exact colors we're going to use, but they're going to be pretty close. Um, I want to use this light gray on the majority of the kitchen. Okay. And then I have this 
beautiful, but this dark blue right here, it's not super dark. It's called Alaskan Night. And I want to put that right here behind the stove where the spice rack is. So I have ideas. <clears throat> and then I don't know if I want to do a backsplash or not. I'm kind of thinking I do, but I'm not 100% certain. I was thinking like the subway tile backsplash. Tiffany really likes those like multi-shaped, multi-colored ones that are like white and gray and black and blue. But I think that would clash too much with this countertop. You can see that it's like a, you know, a light blue, but it's not like a solid color. It's like there's speckles in it. And I just don't know if that would clash. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. We were considering this. We bought this sample tile, but I really think we're just gonna do some peel and stick. Cause I don't know how to tile things. And at this point in my life, I feel like I'm too busy to take on a task as big as tiling. But I definitely can do a peel and stick. I definitely can do that. So good morning. <laughs> and yeah, that's all I really have to say right now. I kind of just went on a, a ramble there, but you know what? It felt good to get it out. I'm feeling better now. I was feeling poorly earlier, talked it out. I feel a little bit better. So thank you. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. I, I was on my break today, um, you know, earlier in the day. And I came across this video and it was somebody like doing a live video. And I heard them say, you know, I'm always so positive. I'm always this, I'm that, I'm always doing this. But I thought it was important that you guys saw this. And this person happened to be, you know, like crying. And I mean, that's not initially why I stopped. It like literally came up into my feed, you know? So, you know, I just, I stopped anyway. And I did notice, and it was one of the first things I noticed was like, whoa, you know, this person's usually really, um, you know, happy and upbeat. And I don't remember seeing a video like this before. So I felt kind of bad because she, she was right. Like the way she was describing, you know, you guys usually see this, usually see that. And it hadn't occurred to me. And, and again, not that I was like, whoa, why is she sad? But I did recognize the fact that I had never seen, you know, her sad before. And it was one of those experiences, you know, and, and it really like kind of like triggered something in me. And I, I heard her say, I think it's important that, you know, you guys see this side of me because, you know, social media can be one of those places, you know, where people think it's always like sunshine and rainbows and literally like almost everything she was saying, I felt like she was saying it to me. And while I'm not sad right now or unhappy, um, I'm, I'm actually quite the opposite. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, you know, I'm, I had a really productive day and I feel really good about myself and, and I made really great choices concerning everything in my life. Like I feel really good today, but I think I feel even better. Like after seeing her video, because things that I say to you guys all the time, you know, like when I talk about how, yeah, like this happened to me today and I didn't feel great about it. And I would feel bad, you know, because like, we want people to come to our vlogs and we want them to leave, you know, happy. We want them to like watch these vlogs and, and be really like, yeah, yeah. Or be like motivated to do something. You know what I mean? But I'm still just as motivated as I was before I saw her video to like go tackle the day. And I think that I needed to see that. And it really is like something that's like on brand for us that, you know, we always say like things happen for a reason, like Carrie and I, we say all the time things have happened to us for a reason you know the way we met um uh you know it taking several times for us to get pregnant with with archer like it happened for a reason 
because that's the baby that we were meant to have. You know, and again, I'm not trying to elicit, you know, negative feelings toward anybody. This isn't about just, you know, when we became pregnant. It's about the fact that I apparently I needed to see that showing people your darkness sometimes, your sadness is also a really good thing. And I'm 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 glad I saw that today and, and I'm glad when she you know, got done with her live that she was feeling much better. She felt better talking about it. It was almost as if I was meant to see that and it was supposed to strengthen, um, you know, my beliefs. And those things don't happen to me too often. And I thought it was really important for me to share that with you. Um, yeah. So have you ever had an experience like that? Like, have you ever needed to see that bright light and then all of a sudden you see it? How did you feel? You know, and, and as always, whenever you guys watch our vlogs, like we know, like I usually try to comment right away, like that same day within the first like 15, 20 minutes. So if you're watching that vlog, you don't have to wait to like say something to us. If you have a thought on wherever you are in the vlog, just say it. Like we'll be able to see like that timestamp of where you are. We'll know exactly like what you're referring to. So if you want to reply to what I'm saying right now, go ahead and say it. Don't wait till the end of the vlog because you might forget. And uh, I, I'd really like to know your thoughts on this because um, it was a big moment for me. So yeah, anyway. While I have you here in the kitchen, I am going to show you what Harrison is going to get his teachers for Christmas. Um, I, I actually don't know. I might have already told you once, but um, <clears throat> Tiffany, when she graduated, no, it wasn't when she graduated, when she finished her um, postdoc last year, or actually she finished in August, August? Yes, she finished in August. She finished her postdoc in August. She was gifted this spider plant from her boss. Um, and it was much smaller back then, but these spider plants, they grow shoots off of the side, right? And it had a bunch of shoots. So we were like, let's grow some more spider plants. And so now I have a collection of spider plants on top of the toaster oven, which is probably not the smartest place to have it. And along here. So <clears throat> Harrison has painted this terracotta pot right here and there's another one that he still has yet to paint and um so he painted that pot and i'm gonna write a quote on it like teachers plant seeds that grow into knowledge or something really clever like that and i'm gonna write the teacher's name on it and we're gonna gift harrison's teachers a little spider plant so i thought that was a really cute idea. Plus, um, anyone else, if you're in our family, you're probably gonna get one for Christmas too, so. Sorry for ruining the surprise. Um, but I just think that's a really unique, I guess, cute, unique idea. I know that a lot of teachers are gifted like mugs with hot cocoa and things like that. And some teachers really like that stuff. But other teachers are like, well, you know, I already have a very large mug collection. So I'm just trying to think outside the box a little bit. Um, with that, we're gonna do like a gift card too to some of their favorite places. But I just thought it would be a good idea. And if you want to use that idea, you know, the terracotta pots are, are pretty cheap, but you could just, you know, buy a plant from your local Meyer or something. I know they sell plants. And you could paint that pot too. You don't you don't have to grow your own. I better stop while I'm ahead. But anyways, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven growing on the side. And then we've got these shoots right here that are forming. So I'm gonna stick those in water soon. And we'll have even more. So, yep. yep. All right, guys, I'm at a new pizza place because the never ending quest for pizza, it never ends. You guys know I'm a downriver gal, 
that's I grew up down there. I'm used to eating at Frank's Pizza and they have new owners and the pizza is just not the same. Plus my mom only brings it to us like once every month or every other month anyway. So we are here. I'm about to try this place called New Pompeii. It's close to my, it's like in between work and in between home. So I'm like really excited and I can't wait to go in and like check everything out. So I just hope Carrie and the boys like it. We'll see. Okay, what did you think of the, just the glance? I am excited to try it. The owner was so nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got to meet the owner. She said that these onion rings are homemade. She makes them there. Those are really good. She made them last, too, because I said I wanted them to be crispy when I got home. They can't put them in anything else. They have to put them in a box. I wonder if, I wonder how good this is going to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. They're good. That's a good onion ring. That is a delicious onion ring. And here's a pizza. No, no, no. Looks like pretty normal pizza. But here's the difference, though. It looks pretty good on the bottom, and it's not too thick. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is good. Oh no, Harrison doesn't want spaghetti? You don't have to eat it, bud. What do you want, baby boy? You want chicken? Okay. okay. We got some chicken for you. Where's the chicken? It's in the fridge. What was that? Muck, 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 muck. Can I have that chicken? No. Muck, 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 muck. No. Aw. No, it's in the refrigerator. It's in the refrigerator? Okay, I'll get it. Thank you for waiting for me to eat. I know it's later and it's darker, so you must be really hungry, right? Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. I didn't know why the cookie was in my boo. I'm sorry. Mommy got held up at work, so that's why it took so long for me to get home. <laughs> that, it was so good, you guys. Um, I will say this. I, it, was so, it was so good. Now, here's the thing. I keep going back because I can't, I had a really good experience with that restaurant. In my opinion, I think I would have liked the pizza cooked a little bit longer. I think that if the pizza was a little crispier for some reason, I think it would have it would have just like gone from, you know, here to like here for me anyway. But they also had I don't know if we showed you these, but they have these. They're called garlic puffs. Carrie didn't tell me until I already ordered, came home with all the stuff, that they also had cinnamon puffs. That just means we have to try it again. We do have to try it again. But the pizza, again, it's like, it's just like regular pizza. Like, it's not anything like super fancy, just to be honest, but it was really good. Like, I ate it. I enjoyed it. The kids like the good spaghetti. It does not have to be fancy pizza. No, good pizza doesn't have to be fancy pizza. Uh. Archer, what did you think, son? Eh? What did you think? Uh, did you like the food? He smashed uh, that spaghetti. Uh, did you? Uh, yeah. Uh, Archer. Uh, uh. What is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you trying to sniff me? Come here. Where are you going? And Harrison rarely holds pizza by himself. He's holding the pizza, and he made himself like a little pizza holder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he puts the pizza right here and rests it, and then leans over and eats it. <laughs> you want some water? Okay. So overall, we were all really happy with New Pompeii. Yeah. Um, like I said before, in the in the vehicle, it's on my way home from work, so... We'll definitely be trying it again. And I didn't even show you guys this, but they make they make snacks. <laughs> she made the the owners there. She made homemade Russian tea cakes. They made chocolate chip cookies. I got a quick little video that I'll put right here. Um, and of course, we had to get one of each. And uh, delicious. 
for those of you, before you even think about it, do not come at me for having a treat and enjoying myself. Do not. Do not. Because it's called moderation. And it's called delicious. Before we leave, campers have been asking for an update on Rachel and Brittany. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So I think it's time to give an update. An update? Yeah. Well... Brittany's doing well. Yep. She's working <laughs> from home still. Too. Yep. Um, she's got two fur babies. Mm -hmm. Her husband is great. Oh, awesome. Mom, so funny. He's my my hetero life mate. Yes, if he wasn't married to Brittany, probably. Hetero life mate. Oh, it's like Jay and Silent Bob. Your hetero life mate. I love him. You're He's not great. His hetero life mate. No. <laughs> What do you got? Oh, you want this? Um, Rachel, you got to catch up with Rachel. I did. Yes. I did. So. Well, to be fair, so when everything happened with my mom, Brittany called us, and yes. we t ended up talking to her for like 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, I would say close to an hour. Which is the longest time we talked to her in a while. <laughs> yeah. She caught us up on life and like everybody in her life and... It was great. We honestly, we really haven't seen, like I, um, I'll get to Rachel in a second, but we really haven't seen anyone face to face. We saw Ra we saw Rachel and Brittany together the last time in the summer, wasn't it? Wasn't it Rachel's going away party that we went to? Yeah. Yeah, and we couldn't even stay long because it was literally 97 degrees outside. And the party was, like, outside. And we were all, like, so hot and, like, dying, basically. Yes. But Brittany, she's, she's doing great, you know? What, baby? Rachel stopped over very recently actually over thanksgiving um she had traveled and had a little bit of a cold so she didn't actually come inside she she sat outside in her car and i sat out on the porch i sat on top of a blanket a with a long sleeve shirt on a sweatshirt a coat a hat gloves scarf a blanket on my back and a blanket on my lap that's how cold it was i probably should have just gotten my car and just kind of like talked to her that way you know like called her on the phone or something and rolled the window up and talked to her but it was nice to see her face to face she's doing really good um she's living life she has a job she's super happy with her partner you know it's it's really it's bittersweet right mm -hmm. because you want your friends to succeed you want especially your best friends but it's hard sometimes to watch them succeed without you if that makes sense because i mean you know i'm in a a perfectly like happy oh, amazing yeah. relationship Not that's okay. just it's me and carrie fun. But, like, when your friends aren't around you anymore and they're not part of your, like, I don't know, like, part of your, like, interconnected, like, circle that you see all the time anymore, it's kind of hard. But you're happy at the same time. It's, it's such a weird, weird feeling. But ultimately, I could not be more proud of, of either of them. I'm, I'm very happy. And they're just two amazing human beings. And I think we're all very thankful that we have them in our lives. And they're always so great to the kids. And Yeah, buddy boy. This pizza has a hole. Where's the hole? Right here. So it has a bend in it? That's okay. okay. That's okay. It's still good. You have to hold it differently. So make your little pizza tray. So no, it's so wiggly. It's wiggly. Okay, hold it like this. See? Look it. Mommy fixed your pizza tray. There you go. Now you Mommy, just take a bite. Let's see. That's not pepperoni, Mommy, baby. Hold it. You want me to hold it? Okay. <laughs> well, you heard him. I'm going to go back to being a professional pizza holder, but um, I just want to thank you guys again. Um, 
actually before I do that we have in the next video coming we have some advent calendar days to check up on um, we haven't opened any since Sunday and today is obviously Tuesday so we'll have <laughs> three days of that um, and there was something else that we were going to talk about that people were asking about I have to save it for the next one because I have no idea. It'll, it will be, but I can't. I was just trying to, trying to give everybody a little taste oh, and a, like preview. a preview. Yeah. Anyway, you'll see. You'll see. That's this what is it is. a surprise for all of us. It, including myself. Yep. Including myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, so thanks for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Anything? Mr. watching his TV? Nothing? Okay. Bye. <laughs> it's just us, babe. It's just us.